president. Uh, and she's been the driving force behind these future reforms. Shanna, welcome to Silicon Valley. Thank you all very much, and I would like to thank uh, Dr. Pete Warden for agreeing to be MC today. As he said, uh, we have been friends, Pete and I, for many, many years, so it's a delight for me to be able to work with him again here at NASA. I would like to especially thank Dr. Peter Fries, as well as the Tech Museum, for being such wonderful hosts for this event, and also express NASA's appreciation to our sponsors and our key partners that have helped make this event possible today. I also want to extend a special welcome to all of our participants in Second Life. This is the first time we are holding a forum in the virtual world Second Life, and our Second Life attendees will also have the opportunity to take part in our panel sessions. So it is an honor to have this dialogue both in the virtual world and at the Tech Museum of Innovation, which affords approximately 400,000 visitors, including 80,000 students, the opportunity to be inspired every year. In space travel, physical space is limited. Weight is critical and resources are severely constrained. Every watt of energy is accounted for. Every resource is transported and monitored. Space exploration drives the development of technologies with minimal impact to these tiny ecologies and by extension to the ecology of planet Earth. These technologies include advanced recycling techniques, treating waste and converting it back into usable resources as well as new green power systems. But perhaps NASA's greatest contribution to sustainability is the development and operation of Earth observing satellites. NASA's satellites supply more global climate change data than those of any other organization in the world. It is only through NASA's investments in measuring the forces and effects of climate change that we have such insights and understand its implications to our home planet. Based on NASA satellite data, we have not only seen the receding ice sheets of Greenland and Antarctica, but have quantitatively measured how fast these ice sheets are melting. NASA scientists have observed the smallest Arctic sea ice coverage ever recorded in 2007. And when comparing that ice coverage for the months of September over the last two years, the loss of sea ice exceeds the geographical area of California and Texas combined. In regards to nitrogen oxide emissions, one of the greenhouse gases that forms smog, NASA sensors helped researchers document their doubling in Asia from 2000 to 2006. NASA has 14 Earth-observing satellites in orbit today. Another seven Earth science missions are under development, three of which will launch over the next 13 months. And earlier this year, we initiated formulation activities for five decadal survey missions expected to lead to five new launches before 2020. All in all, NASA invests approximately $1.3 billion every year in Earth science. And as we continue to explore, we're making new discoveries along the way that are helping our planet. Inspiration, innovation, and discovery. Each is interdependent and through a circle of renewal, they combine to create a formula for future growth, prosperity, and an improved quality of life. The symbiotic relationship forms the essence of the space economy and it is through inspiration, innovation, and discovery that NASA makes its fund most fundamental contributions to life here on Earth. Space exploration is about imagining the future. It's about taking new steps, exploring beyond our limitations, creating something bigger and better than ourselves. Along the way, there are countless benefits, invaluable discoveries, and technologies born through the trials of exploration that enhance our lives here on Earth. That's been true for NASA's first 50 years, and I have no doubt that it will be true for the next 50 years. 
Quest of discovery are as old as humanity itself. We go to see what is beyond the horizon, to test ourselves against the unknown, to face our fears, and overcome challenges with all of our ingenuity and determination. That's the spirit of exploration, and that's why the space program shows us at our best, dreaming, daring, and achieving. I look forward to a discussion today about the future, a future that is brightened by the prospect of a growing space economy and all the promise that that holds for the city of San Jose, the state of California, for our nation, and for our world. Thank you.